how I built my wildlife mansion with a hedgehog house and a living roof. I started by clearing a space in the new garden and I collected five pallets and lots of materials that are great habitat for wildlife. The ground floor will hopefully be occupied by hedgehogs, so I created a base with a small tunnel that curved around to give them a little privacy. For the roof of the house, I added sections of one pallet to another to fill the gaps and I laid it on top. Next, I started on the central aspect of the mansion, which will house a diversity of wildlife by adding branches, twigs, leaves and stacking pallets on top of each other as I went. To the exterior, I started adding bricks and pieces of wood that I drilled holes into, creating more habitat for insects such as carpenter bees. I packed any spaces with leaves, straw and pine cones, and even drilled holes into the pallets themselves, creating lots of different niches for wildlife. And finally, it was time to create the living roof. So I added sides to the top pallet to retain the compost, then I added that to the top of the structure and lined it with a roll of coconut coir. The compost then went in, and now all that's left to do is plant the pollinator-friendly plants and flowers, such as lavender and calendula, and anything I had left around the greenhouse. These will grow in nicely and be a food source for bees and pollinators, and that's the mansion finished and ready to accept guests. And as temperatures are rising, I added a little bowl of gravel filled with water for any thirsty pollinators. So will you give wildlife a home in your garden? And follow along for more tips.